What's up guys, it's Tom here and welcome to the Fulham Liverpool post-match analysis video. What did you think of this crazy game in the Premier League? I was relieved that we won the game because uh, Milner, Van Dijk and Alisson, those three uh, collectively gifted Fulham a goal, which was a very uncharacteristic uh, from Liverpool because we haven't... Uh, made uh, that many direct errors that led directly to a uh, goal conceded but uh, somehow uh, Van Dijk and Alisson um, put that together but otherwise it was a brilliant performance from Liverpool we shouldn't take uh, that away from the boys because uh, Mane he is now the most informed player in the Premier League and the best player of Liverpool right now he just cannot stop scoring Mane got a goal and also kind of an assist because he was fouled by Sergio Rico um, for the Liverpool penalty which by the way James Milner how cool do you need to be to take a penalty like that when everything rests on the on your shoulders Liverpool's whole title race probably rested on that penalty because if Milner misses that and Liverpool don't win this then Manchester City could have gone three points clear and then Liverpool needed Manchester City to, to drop points in two games, which I can't see that happening. Man City maybe will drop points in one game, but in two games that would be a little bit too much to ask. But Liverpool overall played really well without the clinical edge that is required to put the game to bed. And that's my biggest complaint for, this, uh, for today. Mohamed Salah hasn't scored now in seven games. Which is a concern, a small concern because otherwise Salah is playing great but his finishing is not, not just not, not up to his uh, usual standards. Most of his shots go into the middle of the goal which is a little bit of a worry for me but otherwise Salah is playing well. He g got an assist against Bayern, a brilliant assist to Mane and otherwise he's very very you know threatening on goal he again got himself into very good positions today but he just couldn't get the ball past Sergio Rico which was which was a real shame because otherwise I thought Salah played really really well but today's man of the match for me was Mane and let me know who was your man of the match and also what will happen in the title race Liverpool's biggest hope should be that uh, Manchester City will have just so many games in April that sooner or later they will get tired, hopefully sooner and uh, they will need to move the Cardiff game as well uh, which is going to be interesting where they can fit in the Cardiff game because after the international break Manchester City are playing two games every single week and in, in April they are playing uh, the FA Cup semi-final they are playing Crystal Palace away, Tottenham away uh, and then uh, Tottenham home twice in the in the Champions League and in the Premier League and then Man City play Manchester United away as well so they have a brutal run of fixtures and I really hope that they get tired Liverpool what we can do is win our games and so far we have done that after the Everton and Manchester United games we finally got through that kind of a bad spell but it, it's not really a very very bad spell because uh, we only have drawn uh, some games and after that I think the Bayern and the Burnley performance and today's performance I'm not talking specifically the result but the performance was great in my opinion we did everything but but scored the majority of our chances and honestly 76 points after just 31 games you can't ask for much more than that we have more points than we collected for the whole of last season which says it all last season at this stage of the season we had like 65 points or something like that and now we have 76 points if we win our next game we will have 13 more points than at the same stage of uh, last season after 32 games 13 more points so what Liverpool is doing is really remarkable the biggest uh, you know factor is that we have another great team Manchester City who are hot on our heels at the moment but Liverpool retake top spot in the Premier League and that's significant because the pressure will be on Manchester City let's see how they handle it let's see whether they can uh, win their next game which is ironically against Fulham and Fulham today in the second half they had the spell where they threatened Liverpool 
The weather was crazy today. In the first half there was sunshine, the second half there was hail, wind, storm, rain, pouring rain. This, this game had everything, honestly. And also, in the second half where Fulham had a spell, I was a little bit worried that Liverpool will, will, will concede, but I never thought that we would gift Fulham such an easy goal. I mean, first of all, James Milner in his post-match interview, fair play to him, he admitted that he made the mistake in the first place, which put Van Dijk and Alisson in a bad position, because Milner tries to clear the ball, but uh, instead what he does is hoofs it towards his own goal. So the ball is already bouncing. Alisson was inviting, sorry, Van Dijk was boxing out the, the, the attacker, the Fulham attacker, and he was inviting Alisson to come for the ball, but Alisson hesitated. So Van Dijk had no other option but to head it back to Alisson. And Alisson, instead of catching it with his hands, I'm not sure what he was doing, but he was caught in two minds, and instead of catching it with his hands, the ball goes through Alisson's legs, and Ryan Barber, the former Liverpool player, he, he, thank, he says, thank you very much, I will pop it into the empty net. But by the way, such a class celebration by Ryan Babel. He held his hands up because he's a Liverpool supporter. He have himself said before moving to Fulham last year that, that he still watches Liverpool games and he, he, his best time as a footballer was when he was at Liverpool. He loved the club, he loved the city, he loved playing for Liverpool and it was uh, such a shame for him that it didn't work out. And even Ryan Babel's hair is dyed red. <laughs> Maybe because he's a Liverpool fan, I'm not really sure about that, but, but it's actually... Um, very class celebration by Babel. And after that, I was fearing the worst. But this Liverpool team has so much character and so much, you know, uh, bottle about them. Anybody who is saying that Liverpool are bottling the title race is talking absolute nonsense out of their arses because Liverpool are handling the pressure brilliantly. I mean, we went behind against Burnley and then we went on to win that game 4-2 and also against Bayern Munich we were packed back but we still went on to score the second and third goal which we didn't really need to do but Liverpool just completely dominated Bayern and we dominated uh, Fulham today as well and but for Salah's finishing it would have been a 3 or 4 goals for Liverpool and also what I'm really happy about is that Firmino puts in a very good performance. He was harassing the Fulham defenders all over the place. Lalana didn't do a lot today, but still he was a good player. And my big question is, what on earth happened to Shakiri? Shakiri was a very, very important player for Liverpool in the first half of the season. But in the second half of the season, he hasn't really started many games and in, in most of the games he didn't even come on as a substitute. Today Shakiri again was an unused substitute, which is very strange to me. Did they have a bust up Shakiri and Jurgen Klopp between themselves on the training ground? We don't know that, but but it's it's really strange. Shakiri scored six goals in the first half of the season from midfield. And, uh, and after his, him scoring for two, two goals in the Man United game as a substitute, which elevated him into hero status as a, among the Liverpool fans, Jurgen Klopp very rarely uses Shakiri, and I'm wondering why. I'm not sure really. Let's talk about the title race. So at the moment, Liverpool are two points ahead of Manchester City, but if Man City win their game in hand, which is against Fulham, then of course they will go top. But what is very very significant is that after this weekend there is an international break and it was vital for Liverpool to win this game because if Manchester City goes into the international break uh, level with Liverpool and on top of the Premier League on goal difference having played a game less than Liverpool that would be a very very comfortable position for Manchester City because if Liverpool dropped points today even a draw that would mean that Manchester City can lose a game in the run-in and still win the title. But now Manchester City know full well that they cannot drop points in any of their remaining games. And I think all the pressure is now on Manchester City. Honestly, most of the fans and most of the pundits at this point expect Manchester City to win the title. So Liverpool can play with a little bit less pressure 
than in the middle of the season where we had every game where we were top of the league and many people were wondering can Liverpool handle the pressure and I don't think it was down to the pressure on the players but actually it was to the pressure on the Liverpool fans which I think hindered Liverpool because in some home games the Liverpool fans were so nervous that that transmitted itself onto the pitch and maybe the Liverpool players were a little, a little bit nervous as well. So now Liverpool can just sit back and take a good rest in the international break. Of course some Liverpool players go on international duty but for example Mohamed Salah uh, doesn't go on uh, to play for Egypt so he can train for the next two weeks back at Anfield, back at Melwood and hopefully he can train on his finishing because the last time Salah hasn't scored for seven games in a row was when he was at Roma. So no, no, not before uh, in any of his Liverpool uh, games th this run happened. But uh, all the big players have these kind of runs. And sooner or later Salah will score in my opinion. And then he will go on a goal scoring run again. But at the moment Mane is just outstanding. Mane has like 10 or 11 goals in his past 10 games. An incredible achievement by Mane, who is now level on Mohamed Salah in the top scorers charts in Liverpool. So both Salah and Mane has 20 goals now, which is really outstanding. This is Mane's best goal scoring season in his career, which I'm very happy about. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video, guys. If you did, leave a like. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. See you later. Goodbye.